Epic Games has just rolled out Reality Scan 2.1, a major update to their 3D scanning software. This release puts a big emphasis on automating certain things and using advanced LiDAR scanning capabilities, so let's jump in and see the details. First of all, one of the first things you might notice is that the developers have tweaked the UI, so the tools and buttons are now easier to find in the ribbon menus. So, commonly used functions are now in plain sight. Also, the new version really amps up the scanning tools, especially for those using laser scanners and advanced sensors. You see, Reality Scanner 2.1 now supports importing data from SLAM-based scanners, the kind of tech used by drones, in addition to robots that map the environment as they move. You can bring in SLAM captures trajectories, images and point cloud, and merge it with your regular photogrammetry photos and other laser scans. The benefit is faster data collection with live feedback. As you scan, you can see what areas you have covered and fill in gaps on the fly. Plus, you can capture surfaces that were tricky for photo-only scans. On top of that, the software can ingest classified LiDAR point clouds. For example, ILS files with tags for ground, buildings, vegetation, etc., letting you automatically exclude terrain classes, I mean classes of different objects when building your model. So Reality Scan can now know to skip over unwanted backgrounds, like passing cars or dense foliage, focusing on only what you care about. Another big focus of Reality Scan 2.1 is actually automation, letting the software do more of the heavy lifting for you. There is a new command line interface, or CLI, that allows you to script and batch process tasks, which is great news if you have lots of scans to process or maybe repetitive operations. You can actually queue up jobs, like aligning images, generating meshes, and exporting models, and let Reality Scan crunch through them one after the other without constant button clicking. They've also introduced a new templating system, basically an upgraded version of the old reporting tool, which can automatically pull information, I mean from your projects, and generate structured reports or data files. This means things like progress stats, camera details, or scan measurements can be output automatically, saving you from manual data crunching. In addition to this, you will appreciate that Reality Scan 2.1 actually brings some mesh optimization and texture mapping improvements as well. You see, the UV unwrapping tool, which handles how 2D textures are laid onto 3D models, you know, it now offers a colorful checkboard overlay, which makes it easy to spot stretching or misalignment. So, if you see those checker squares wrapping on your model, you know exactly where the UV map might need tweaking. So it is basically a simple visual aid that helps you ensure the textures look just right. The update also adds a neat way to review and present your 3D scans, so you can render images of your 3D models from the exact same camera positions that you took from the original photos. In fact, it can even match the lens distortion from the original shots for a one-to-one -one comparison. I think this is super handy for validating your scan or creating before and after visuals, and you can additionally export normal maps which show surface details like bumps and those camera views for further editing or use in other 3D software. On the export side, Reality Scan 2.1 actually expands its capability with other software, simply because it now supports more file formats for sharing camera calibration and metadata, which is always a good thing in my book. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.